This is the Owl of Wisdom. Like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck. If you don't, it won't be pretty. What is the scariest slash creepiest thing you have seen slash heard? I want to see everything. Pictures, videos, gifs, sounds, or even a story. I don't care. If it's creepy, post it. I love the creepy slash scary stuff. Remember to sort by new guys. There really are some great stories buried. I was playing around with a radio once, when I was a kid, just slowly spanning through the static trying to find a station. I had found an old television antenna, attached it to the side of our house, and ran a wire out my window to it with an alligator clip attached to the radio antenna, allowing me to get away broader range of signals. So I'm sitting there, early in the morning, like 2am, slowly sweeping frequencies, and suddenly I get to this station that's playing this very weird crackling sound. It sounded sort of like cracking knuckles, or maybe Rice Krispies cereal, but with a fixed, rhythmic pattern instead of being random. I sat there listening to it for a second, then it suddenly stopped, and this faint voice says it doesn't work. We're already dead. We're already dead. It took a second for the weight of the words to hit me, but when they did I freaked the fuck out and almost threw the radio across the room. I'm pretty sure it was just someone messing around with a radio transmitter, but damn if it didn't scare the shit out of me at the time. Went to see The Sixth Sense when it first came out with my wife. Had just moved into our new house, and my wife was pretty shaky when we came home. We didn't have kids at this point. She insisted that I go through all of the rooms in the house to check for, who knows what. Being a dutiful husband, I irrelingly went through all of the bedrooms, and was finishing up in the guest bathroom. The door was ajar, and I pushed it open, and heard, right next to my head, the loudest, most blood-curdling scream ever. Turns out that the cat was behind the door and somehow had its tail in the jam, and when I opened it, it got pinched. Fuck, man. The story of Karen Wetterhan, essentially, she was a chemistry professor at Dartmouth. She was working with an organic mercury compound that was relatively unknown at the time. A drop spilled on her gloved hand. No big deal usually. Turns out dimethyl mercury penetrates latex gloves really quickly, and a drop on the hand is a death sentence. She slipped into a coma about 6 months later and then died. The really terrifying part is the description of her coma, from Wikipedia. One of her former students described it as not being, the kind of coma I'd expected. She was thrashing about. Her husband saw tears rolling down her face. I asked if she was in pain. The doctors said it didn't appear, that her brain could even register pain. Fucking. Terrifying. I'm so glad I'm not a chemist. Computers are friendly. This was a few years ago on a night scuba dive. There were 8 of us in the group including our dive master and his assistant. We had just finished our dive and were gathered up in a circle ready to ascend and get out of the water when my dive master freezes. He takes his flashlight and pointing it outside our circle of divers he catches something circling us with a beam. Turns out it was a 12 foot long great white shark. At this point half of the group are trying to keep the shark illuminated as it circles us, and remarkably everyone stayed calm. The only things going through my mind were iterations of these two thoughts, don't look like a yummy delicious fatty seal, and that I hope I taste terrible. My dive master gets our attention, and slowly puts his thumb up, and then makes an upward motion. We all begin to ascend, and the shark kept with us, until we were maybe 10 feet from the surface. Then it turned off into the darkness and was gone. I did not go back into the ocean for about a week after that. Some of the posts on r slash unresolved mysteries. Warning, visiting this subreddit will steal lots of your time. Woke up one night around 1am, heard the shower was on. I first thought it was my brother, he works night shifts, so thought he had came home late and was in the shower. It went on for about half an hour, until I got up, and went to see WTF he was doing. 
No one was in the shower, my brother wasn't home yet, I was the only one in the house. Still to this day, I have no idea how it turned on, or who did it. Almost 5 years later I still think about it and shit myself. Even writing this now I feel like turning every light on in the house aha why I, I do I do this to myself. I watched in horror as this drunk seeming guy fell, maybe it was on purpose, but I don't know, onto a commuter rail track, just as the train was coming. The sound slash sight of him getting run over, crunching, splattering, awful, has stayed with me for life as the scariest, brain scarring thing ever. This happened to me when I was about 8 and still scares me to this day. One evening I went to let my dogs in from the back garden at around 9pm. It was pitch black, so I quickly opened the door and my dogs came bounding in, as soon as they came in I locked the door, and at this moment a person on the other side pulled the handle down trying to get into my house. We had a glass door so even in the dark I could see the outline of a man standing there. I ran to my dad, and he ran into the back garden after this man, and saw him running down the road. Since then I have closed and locked doors at the speed of light. Old doll that multiple persons claim over the course of 100 years that it is alive and possessed. There is a fark thread somewhere that described a guy taking a scenic route in the middle of the night to get to a certain town. He was driving up a hill and came upon a car accident with two cars on the side of the road and a person lying down on the ground. For some reason he caught a bad vibe from it and slowly drove past the scene. He stopped about 100 feet past it, looked behind him, and the person on the ground was standing up and staring at him, with about 20 other people coming out of the woods. Nope. Edit, slash u slash nodus 3 has provided the link. A few months ago I downloaded a program for my phone, Sleepers Android. I bought the premium version of the app for the extra features, to record sound throughout the night, when volumes reached a certain threshold. It would activate, when I would snore or move around. I would usually spend the next evening going over some of the recorded sounds. Everything was pretty normal, until I listened to something out of the ordinary. It was near the beginning of April, and I had the apartment to myself. I'll let you listen to the sound, before I go on explaining it. It started out picking up my snoring, and then the hairs on my neck, stood up as I hear my dog knob moving. Following this, you can hear my door open slowly. I was confused, and a little worried. Everything was still locked up, nobody came home, the chain lock was still latched on the front door, and my landlord certainly didn't come. I don't use the app anymore. When I was 7, I woke up in the middle of the night with an earache. I decided to tell my mom and stepdad, and walked out of my room. Someone was sitting on the chair in the living room, about 3 feet away from my bedroom door. The person looked strange, the face was just kind of distorted, but it was dark, and I couldn't see well. Mom? I asked. The person shook their head, and I started getting scared. Mike. The person shook their head again. I decided the best course of option was to go back to bed, so I wouldn't have to walk past this person. I climbed in bed and closed my eyes for a second before opening them and seeing the person standing in my doorway, smiling madly and nodding furiously. Edited, I screamed at the top of my lungs and closed my eyes. My stepdad came running out of his room in his underwear with a baseball bat, that was a scary sight in itself. There was nothing there, but clothes my mom had folded, and put on the chair were strewn about the living room. For the longest time I told myself it was my cat, sitting on the clothes. My old co-worker had a son, that was in his mid-thirties, and he had a son named Hunter, that was four or five. She said that Hunter would have bad dreams, and that he would sleep with his dad, when he got scared. One night his dad woke up, because he heard Hunter calling him. But he was calling him by his name, not dad. So he went to his room, and he was asleep. He woke him up and said Hunter, you were calling me. Is everything okay? And Hunter said, that, when they call you, you're not supposed to answer, and fell back asleep. 
He asked him about it in the morning, but he said he didn't remember saying it. I get chills when I think about it. Living in the northern part of Mexico, the drug cartel's war was very intense in the city where I live a couple of years ago. I was waiting to cross the street when I saw a big truck dumping a plastic bag that happened to contain a fucking dismembered body. The worst part is that nobody did shit. I just waited for the light to change and ran like hell. Watching an A7 Corsair grab the hash 3 cable that had not been fully retracted. After the wire broke and whipped around two sailors were dead and two were amputees. Getting to the scene seconds after was the most horrific sight I have witnessed. Using a mop and pail to swab out the puddles of blood. Heart wrenching. I'm a journalist and was told this doozy by a woman I interviewed for a true crime story. When this woman was a young girl, say 8 years old, she started to come downstairs at night to tell her father that there was a man in her closet. He tells her there's no such thing as the bojeeman and sends her back to bed. This happens on and off for like a week. Finally, he gets frustrated and walks her back to the room and says, I'll show you there's nothing in your closet and goes to open the door. It opens an inch and then he feels someone slam it shut. Turns out there really was a man in her closet. This guy was a perv who would come into the house every night and stare at the girl from the closet while she slept. The dad kicked the shit out of him and the perv went to prison for many years. I researched a story 20 years after this happened. The guy had just gotten out of jail again and no one could find him. I saw this little bird walking on the street when suddenly a seagull grabbed it in its mouth. Seagull started to smash this helpless bird against the ground few times. After a while it ate the bird and I saw a bump on seagull's neck like the bird was stuck in its throat. Then it flew off. I was just standing there and said, what the fuck, seagulls shouldn't do that. Fuck seagulls. Creepiest, when I was in high school, these four girls went to a concert in a city that was a 5 hour drive away. They tried to get a hotel room after, but they were too young and were denied, so they had to drive all the way home. About 20 minutes from making it home, the driver fell asleep at the wheel, and the car rolled. One of the girls was killed. A couple days later the girl's parents invited a bunch of us over to their house, where we were shocked to see they had her body laying in her bed. Was playing Kinect one night. It detected a second player. I was alone. Just last year, I was in New York City and riding a packed subway. Mid-ride, a man gets up with a strangely large backpack. He cleared his throat and said, alright everyone, the time has come, and in that moment the people on the sub's faces turned to fear, a mother nestled her son, and I tensed up, ready to pounce. He continued to say I am a poor man, in need of food, if anyone has anything on them, or if they could take me out for food it would save my life. My girlfriend and I got him some KFC and asked him to approach a large group of people differently. All in all, he was a nice guy didn't even look homeless. My girlfriend still refers it as the day the KFC guy was gonna class. His face all read by Emily Carroll, it's a short but beautifully drawn story, but the whole thing baffles me. I'd been living alone for less than a week. I got some Chinese takeout and was eating in front of the TV. I finished my meal and cracked open the fortune cookie. It read you will have a visitor tonight, lock your door. There were no visitors that night, but the memory still haunts me. Driving to pick up a friend who was at this cabin party about 40 miles west of where I lived. It was close to 2am. So I'm driving down this back road to find this random cabin somewhere and I come across this red four door sedan with all the doors open and four limp figures in the seats with their heads slumped over. That alone kinda freaked me the fuck out. Later on I'm driving by again after a failed attempt at picking up my friend, mind you it's getting close to 3 in the morning and only the front seat passenger door was open and ever person in that car was staring with a blank dead stare directly at me as I drove past at 10 miles per hour. Very creepy to me. Not the creepiest, but reminded me of something. 
I used to have a truck that I swore had the ghost of a dead baby in it. I used to get home late from my job as a dishwasher, and after I parked and was sitting in my driveway with the engine off, I would hear this really faint sound of a baby crying. Late at night, when it was quiet, it used to make my arm hair stand on end. I used to get home and hop out of the car in fear of hearing it. One night I decided to sit there and just listen, try to pinpoint the sound. Eventually I discovered that it was indeed not a dead baby, but when I undid my seat buckle at the old spring of the seat belt retractor would slowly start pulling the belt in, creating a faint noise that sounded like wailing. I was babysitting my nieces one Friday night while my brother-in-law took his wife to dinner. She has a strict bedtime of 8pm, so after successfully getting her to sleep, no small task, I decided I would watch the Skyfall movie that people wouldn't shut up about. About halfway into the movie, I'm absolutely chilled to the bone when Sophie, who sneaked out of bed and behind the couch, says directly into my ear, mere inches away, you know James Bond murdered Jesus, right? I haven't offered to watch her again. Thanks for watching the Chronicles of Reddit. Like and subscribe for a marvelous life of adventure.